okay, time to take take a shot with the last character I've actually played as in the demo before I go on to check out the other characters that are completely new. Oh, now that I think about it, I never checked out Mega Man's alternate costumes, and I, I'm not even sure if I checked out Zelda's, to be honest. So let's go and hit that block now. I can turn into Egad, cool. You can also teleport for some reason. And I can tell change into the old graphic for Zelda from the demo and here's Zelda again okay uh, let's check out Mega Man uh, we've got a slightly different Mega Man probably just a different graphic what I've got no clue what that is and we've got Dr. Wily cool definitely reminds me of uh, Super Mario Bros crossover on that one and we've peach you <laughs> okay not gonna complain, but I wonder what the other weapons look like with Pichu because that makes not too much sense. We've got Ash. Okay, yeah, th this is my favorite part of Pokemon throwing these things. Uh, is this Ash? I can't even tell. We've got a, a dinosaur. I don't recognize this guy at all. We've got some sort of uh, Tanuki thing. I don't recognize this guy at all either. Well, that's a lot of people I don't recognize. So let's check out Samus's. I'm assuming it's alternate costumes from her game, like... Oh, this guy, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that guy was awful to control in Super Mario Bros. Crossover. And we've got an NES version of Samus. I've got no clue. It just seems like some random person. Okay, that's it for Samus. And I haven't played Metroid either, so... Yeah. Look forward to me not knowing how to play Samus very well. I think Samus is a little bit less floaty than she was before, or maybe just a little bit less floaty than in Super Mario Bros. Crossover. It's hard to tell. So, oh, we've got uh, the, the credits to Megalex 2, but that doesn't... that's Mario specific, so that's not... I get choices on who to change between later, but it's not going to be Samus in there. Ghost House 2 and from Return to Dinosaur Land. And I know this game was made, I think, for Smebex 2.0, so... You can't shoot upwards? Okay. Oh, hit the switch for some reason. So I drop bombs and they explode after a couple seconds. And those can do some damage. Uh, oops. So I guess now that the switch has appeared, I might as well go up and hit it. Okay, so I've got to get in there before the Koopa kicks the shell over. I misinterpreted that for some reason and expected to have to wait. So I guess that was just a trap room or something? So now I have a jetpack. Wow, this uh, gives me a lot of control. Uh, that's kind of a weird way to climb, but okay. I can probably kill this boo. Yeah, it's even one hit KO. Even Bowser couldn't do that. I'm assuming that you are friendly, but doesn't hurt to check. Yep, yeah, really doesn't hurt to check. Nice, we have uh, boos going around in a circle. I guess this is the same technology used to make the boo ring then? But I guess it's more flexible kind of be used to do that boo laser effect as well. Oh, not close enough. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh hey, I can kill you guys. Lots of characters with the ability to actually kill these ghost house enemies, which is nice. Let's just drop that there. Because I, I question my ability to get over that with Samus easily. I, f I find it as someone who's never played Metroid, I find it really weird how you press down again to get out of the ball instead of up. I would have really expected up. I'm not sure what I killed there at all, but okay. Because like half the time I end up just pressing up for a couple seconds before I realize, wait, that doesn't actually do anything. It almost feels like I'd, I might be able to go in there with the morph ball, but that's probably not true. Kill you. Whoa, I just kind of like flew downward there for some reason. 
wonder how to duplicate that. Oh well. And I can fly up here. Cool. Can I go in this pipe from up here? Nice. Oh, it just brings me back. <laughs> okay. Not so nice. I guess that would be where that pipe would bring me. And why am I here again? Is that different? I guess I'm supposed to go to the door over here then. Normally I guess I'd bounce off at Eerie's, but thank goodness I've got this energy tank thing. And not sure how I'd recover if I fell down there. Let's not fall down there then. <laughs> And let's get over to this door over here. Hey, I at least made it to the midpoint. Finally, I actually get to shoot something. <laughs> Guess I've been getting an itchy trigger finger then. Whoa! Duh! Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how I just randomly faced through the pipe there, but... If I hadn't panicked, it would have been perfectly okay, but I was just like, what the... and <laughs> jumped into the bullet bill, so... I almost feel like there could be something back behind this... No, probably not. Well, I've lost my uh, jumpy power-up, but hopefully there won't be anything that requires me to... Oh, good, good thing I jumped over that guy, because I totally missed him. You can die... So I wonder if I can mimic that. So if I stand next to this thing, stand next to it and turn around, yeah, I can phase through stuff. And I have missiles now, nice. Can I destroy you? No, I can't destroy you with missiles. Go next to it, turn around, and that just phased me over there. Okay. <laughs> Didn't work so well there. Maybe I shouldn't do that in case one of these is like a poison mushroom or something, because that would suck. Weird Samus climbing. Uh, well, then I can't get the dragon coin. Not unless maybe I do something weird. Like that. There we go. Free dragon coin. <laughs> Even though I didn't solve the puzzle properly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I guess the missiles go farther. I guess that's their main point. And unfortunately, that didn't work. So I have to go back to the ghost house. No! Oops. So, I'm supposed to spin jump up on you, but I guess I'm gonna have to do that bomb trick again because that's not gonna work. Dang it. I might not be able to go high enough anyway. Yeah, I can't quite make it. Let's say I go for the other one. Dang it, if I had a damage boost correct from there. But now I can't damage boost because I don't have the HP to do that. So that kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, come on. I'm so close. I, that's why I keep trying because I'm so close. Maybe if I get rid of this guy, I can make it over the other one a little bit more safely. Oh, killing him also makes a platform. Well, okay. I was overcomplicating things there, but I didn't expect that. Fire flower, which means I get more missiles. Doesn't help me kill this guy, though. See ya. So yeah, the only thing I really get from missiles is range. Hey, nice. They give health drops when I'm Samus, that's pretty cool. You can die. Just slowly making my way across these things. Oh, well, this is weird. And you're... One of these is not like the others. It's basically Sesame Street. Come on, Smobex 2.0 team, how have you not added Bert and Ernie yet? They should have been like the first priority. Pretty good level. Surprisingly long, considering the other levels of Machine Dinosaur Land didn't seem that long, but... Oh yeah, this is the level with all the fish. Well, that's... And the scrolling elevator that moves slowly. At least I think I recognize this level. Thankfully... And they're just gonna kill themselves. Thankfully Samus shouldn't have too much of a problem with underwater enemies. Seems like a lot of these characters who struggle with platforming are really gonna love the underwater levels. Because all the enemies in there... Oh, shoot. I was trying to hold the button to swim downwards, but that didn't work so well in this circumstance. Yeah, I keep forgetting because... At least Samus can... Reduce 
just her hide underwater on like uh, some of the other characters. Let's grab that thing, even if it's a little bit risky. Well, that is nasty. But it does work, so... If I tried to swim through that, I feel like I would have gotten hit. Alright, stay as far away from the pipe as possible so that the fish don't appear in my face. And... Almost in the level. In the rest of the level, at any rate. Oh, shoot, I did that thing again. Hello, Yoshi. Uh... That's okay, I need to get down here to get the star, so you did me a favor too. Oh yeah, this is, uh... Oh, well, I messed up. <laughs> I, I totally forgot the gimmick to this area, so... And unfortunately, while I made it through here not too difficultly with Mario, or Toad, or whoever I had for this level, uh, it's not gonna work with Samus, because those are tricky platforming jumps to pull off with Samus. And now, uh, not too difficult to star, because of course this level is basically half finished. Oh no. Air. Mix load must... Oh, this must be an error with loading the level. Shadow Moses. Is this... This is episode one. I'm not sure why it had trouble loading that. Is it gonna retry it into a different level? Well, that's weird. I can't jump across that thing any other way. I... I think this is just garbage data. I, I don't think it's actually loaded anything, which is unfortunate. Oh, well now I have a little bit more background, I guess. Not that that's all that great. Wait, why am I not re-rolling? I'm stupid. <laughs> so the re-rolls are practically four after all. Sure, if I just switch level, it'll all work fine once it loads something real. No forest. Oh yeah, this is the... This is the level with the burning forest. I remember this level. And this is where I'm not going to have a chance. Because I... I'm pretty sure I can't stay on that branch, and I'm not even close to making that jump, so... Let's just skip out of this level. Oh yeah, it's this level where you gotta bake the bridge. And of course, I fell in like an idiot last time, into like a one space gap, so... You know what, I'm just gonna hit them all this time. Oops, totally missed him. This is, uh... Riveting gameplay. I'm so glad that this is showing off all of Samus' capabilities and how she is unique from all the other characters. I at least could do the glitch through the wall, I guess. If there's... nah. <laughs> no room up there. Nothing in that pipe. Nothing in that pipe. So, I must see this pipe. Can't go back up. Not that I really can see myself wanting to go back up, but... Oh, so I... Well, I don't need a hammer. Oh, maybe I do need a hammer. I was expecting the bomb to blow up those blocks, but apparently not. It would probably blow up the yellow ones, though. Oh yeah, the coin bridge is only for the secret exit, so I totally wasted my time forming that. I can just go to the regular exit. Hello, Toad. Okay. I figured he was going to say something relevant, actually, so I didn't want to... So, so I don't know what these purple coins actually do. What does the chest do, for that matter? Can I open that? Do I need the... I don't think I need the key. I don't remember how the chest worked in the invasion, so... Hey, ice shots. I've had the fire shots for a while, so let's, uh... Like a, like a Mega Man, Samus has a ton of uh, max HP, but unlike Mega Man, I have to actually work up to that HP. So, with power-ups that I'm not going to find with anyone other than... You know, this freeze power-up is really just a lot worse than the fire power-up, isn't it, with Samus? Because it basically just means that I... Unless I need to use it as a platform or something, but most often I probably just want to kill stuff. And there's a couple enemies, of course, that the freeze thing works that on that the fireballs don't. Wow, I can't believe I missed him with that enormous barrage. But yeah, unlike most characters, I think Samus' default is I'm gonna want this one. Because it'll just kill stuff outright. I can't use the... the frozen blocks in any way like I can with other characters like Mario, so... Nighttime Woods. No. They're about the same distance, so that's not going to work out. Oh gosh, 
Skyward Platformer. If I was Link, that might almost make a bit more sense. Yeah, I can make that. I could probably blow those up, but that's just a waste of time, obviously. And not, it's not a break in my favor, it's a break against me. And we've got Peach Coins for some reason. I'm assuming this is a reference to one of the newer Mario games that I haven't played yet. Killing Hammer Bros is pretty easy with Samus. You go up. So otherwise there would be no way up there. Hit that. Run back down here. This level did require some speed at a couple points, so hopefully it works out for me. Oh yeah, I think the first time I went for that free life, but then I died for it somehow. I don't remember exactly how. I think I was too slow to hit the switch or something. Yeah, here we go. Samus seems to play just as well, but differently, as the original character who was playing in this level, so that's pretty cool to see. Because best case scenario is generally the character was played just as well, but differently overall, in my opinion at least. I, whoa, I thought one of those was me for a second, so I was like, why did I go flying like that? But then no. Oh hey, I can break the level. Yeah, assuming the bombs do destroy those. What? Oh. Well, that's not good enough, actually. <laughs> so I do need to get something else after all. Whatever. That's not a level ending star, so it doesn't help me out any. Not in this run, at least. I am missing some HP, so I better... Wow, that was useless. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable, actually, in this area, because it's all descending, so I feel like I'm not going to have troubles with uh, platforming or anything. You can die. Well, I guess I do need to do some ascending. Whoops! That's not what I meant to do at all, but... <laughs> so easy to glitch through walls of Samus. You can just do it anywhere. Whoops! I just barely failed to make that jump somehow. Just stomp on this and it'll go through and kill everything for me, hopefully. Well, except that guy. He was just like, nah, I don't feel like dying today. Oh, well that sucks. Let's just avoid this guy, not too hard. Hit this switch. I'm not even sure why that switch, what that switch adds to the level, but... Apparently I can turn it off and on again as much as I want, but I'm not sure if uh, the, the blue switch affects anything farther down, so I'm not sure if it's actually helpful. Oh no. How am I supposed to hit that green switch now? Oh, this thing's a, a spring. Phew, sometimes it's hard to tell what the intended behavior of the level is supposed to be with the character that I was originally supposed to have. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I can't kill you by bopping you from underneath. But I can't kill you like that. Goodbye. Let's just wait a bit for the fire to go away. You guys can die. Have a million missiles to shove down your throat. That's part of a balanced breakfast, I think. You can have just one missile shoot to, shot down your throat because I'm low on ammo, I think. G gotta play conservatively sometimes, you know? Samus can't have infinite missiles in there. And nothing in these blocks, really. But it really doesn't matter, because we've reached the end of the level. Hooray! I think that level worked pretty well with Samus, to be honest. And I suspect it would work well with most characters that aren't Snake. Oh, hey, it's this level again. Oh, that's interesting. Your missiles ascend slopes somehow. Uh, let's re-roll, because we've gotten this before. That'll probably happen more and more often, but... Oh, last chance of Dr. Bowser. For some, for a second I, I thought it was an Umbra stage or something, I was like, wait a minute, I shouldn't have that installed.
shot that time, that's a little bit faster. Howling missiles went over that guy because the airship was descending just a tiny bit. It's like the airship was just trolling me a little. Okay, this time don't go near the other side of the stage. For no reason because, I don't know, it hurts me. Okay, so I have to hit the thing for, to get to start. I really hope I'm not supposed to be going somewhere. Okay, good. I lost my power up at the last second, but that's not too big a deal as long as I didn't need it to complete a jump. Oh, and I get another one. Sweet. And there's another room. Always another room. I'm not 100% sure right now if falling off the platforms will uh, activate my jetpack. So I'm, I'm not sure whether it's going to work like Toad or work like, uh, what was it? I can't even remember anymore. Ninja Bomberman's jump. No, I'm keeping the jetpack just in case I hit, come across something that's otherwise impossible. So let's grab that uh, feather again because it's definitely more useful than the missiles. Missiles are basically just increased range on a character that can already shoot. Unlike with Mario, where the missile, where being able to throw fireballs gives him some sort of uh, shot in the first place. For Samus, it's just like barely any difference at all. Darn it. Well, at least I can grab that. Goodbye. I didn't mess that up the first time, but it really doesn't matter because I'm still going to be in the same leaf state here. And hopefully I'll do a better job of dealing with, uh, what's his face down here. Oh wow, they somehow managed to steer one of them through. Think they can kill those guys. Ugh, he moves faster than I was hoping. There we go. Bombs are great. And now here's the lounge. Hello. Mario. Well, I guess it could be anyone in that suit, so we can't say for sure. Oh, there was some tricky stuff in here though, too, so... Maybe it would be better to go the other way. For some reason I was remembering it as, uh... There was uh, nothing dangerous in here, but there's a couple rooms in here that are dangerous, and... Hopefully Thanos will find the boss fight really easy, so I'm gonna keep going. Why do these things do nothing? Just background? Okay. You can fall in the pit there. Oh, I guess you can't fall in the pit there. Well, that's fun anyway, so who cares? And the real midpoint. Nice. Of course, I can't get this thing back if I fail. Ugh. Not sure what happened there, but... Well, let's just glide up to the top and shoot his face. Which, now that I think about it, might be the only way of hurting him. Other than... Rinkas. Yeah, I can make these bombs come out, but that doesn't help me much. So I might be in trouble. I guess Samus won't have trouble. Won't be able to easily defeat the boss after all. And it's too bad I got that midpoint now, because I can't get rid of that midpoint like I normally would. Yeah, I can't hold those bombs at all and do an, or do anything with them, so... I, I think I'm probably stuck for a solution. Too bad Samus can't shoot upwards. I think she can in Super Mario Bros. Crossover. So really my only hope is somehow guiding those Rinkas to hit him, but that's going to take forever even if it does work, so... Probably toast. Yeah, goodbye, world. Oh, this one. I had no problem with this before, but it's going to be hard without a decent duck jumping ability, as is already being shown, because my hitbox is really tall in comparison. I thought this attack was more different than the last one. Oh shoot, I messed up. At least I can move on the ground while ducking, even if I can't really move in the air while ducking. Yeah, this boss is really cool just how it's laid out. Maybe I'll stay in duck mode for this. Just move back and forth slightly where I need to and... Ooh, this is tight. Thankfully I managed to make it through this one without a hit. Darn it. Collected two by mistake. Let's stay in duck mode. Yeah, with Mario or whoever I was playing this with the first time, it was always best to just jump through everything, but with Samus, ducking and rolling around as a ball seems like the optimal solution. <laughs> I think that one worked out pretty well, and I'm glad it went so quickly considering I wasted so much time on Pyro's level. And I beat it with Samus. Hooray! I think I would have had a lot of trouble with that if I had, had one hit KO mode on for that one, but... So yeah, Samus is Samus. I, I, similar to Mega Man, to be honest. Very good... 
until you reach the jump you can't do because you can't jump far enough. 